Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned his 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered through all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And I just want to get into a few scriptures proving that the only true living power of all heavens and earth is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Because if there's one thing that separates the true living power of all heavens and earth from you know the nation of Islam, you know, you know, Caesar Borgia, as far as these wacky tacky Christians are concerned, and, and all their denominations, you know, uh, Buddha, and all two thousand of, of those comedic gods would be the spirit of prophecy, man. That's the one separator. You see? All those false idols lack the spirit of prophecy. You see? What Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has written on paper, because it's faithful and true, has come to pass. And if it hasn't came to pass yet, it's going to. Why? Because Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. See? So the first scripture I want to get into was the book of 2nd Ezra. The 15th chapter. And I want to start from the top. And it reads, Behold, Speak thou in the ears of my people, and possess a pronoun, my people, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. They have been speaking the words of prophecy into the ears of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Some of us hearkened, and some of us don't. But at the end of the day, when all hell breaks loose, we'll see the determining factor of the decision that you made, man. Continuing on. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, right? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. He's not a man that he should lie. You see? He's not a man that he should lie. You know, let's just grab that real quick. The book of Numbers. The 23rd chapter. In the 19th verse, and it reads, Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Right. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Didn't he say we were going to go into captivity? All the captivities the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans been through. It's written. You see? <laughs> Didn't he say that the Judite woman's gonna suffer from baldness, don't she? Then Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai say that in the land of our captivity, we will remember ourselves. The only captivity where we forgot who we were is this captivity. Here in Mystery Babylon the Great, man. This is the only captivity we didn't know who we were. You see? Neither the son of man that he should repent, right? Yahweh Shai is not going to regret putting you wicked two-third Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you heathen, to death, man. He's not going to regret it. You see? Have he said, and should he not do it, 
Right. Right. Then didn't Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai say <laughs> that will be the tail and I, and then this devil will be the head? Then Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai say that we have to go to our enemy for the want of all things. You see? Huh. Have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? Right. Huh. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai also said that by the hand of his people Israel, he was going to seek vengeance on Edom, man. You see that? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai said that he will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai said that we'll have immortality in the kingdom to come. You see? <laughs> if Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai said, you know, put us through what he put us through. You know, you better believe that the promises that he that he also spoke of that have yet to come, come to pass, they're going to come to pass, man. You see? <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not, Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. And we know that wholeheartedly, man. Let's go back to the uh, book of Second Edges. We're going to continue on the book of Second Ezra. I'm actually going to start from the top. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 1, and it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Right? His people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You see? And you speckle birds. You may look like the other nations, but you resonate with the word. You know? <laughs> This is not all about how you look. This is a spiritual thing. You know, there are speckle birds out there. We've been scattered. You may look like the other nations, but if this word resonates with you, you are an Israelite, man. Continuing on, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. You all two thousand of your comedic gods, or you 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 Egypt you Egypt whatever you call y'all man, you 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 are y'all y'all comedics. <laughs> Give a show documentation of any one of your two thousand gods with, with 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 scrolls and info on prophecy or uh, you know information that has that has you know happened real time, you know real time history, you know. You can't. You see? Same with Buddhism and Nation of Islam and huh, the, 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 domino, the denominations of wacky tacky Christianity with their Caesar Borgia. You see? Because those are all idols, man. There's no, there's no breath in those falsified idols, man. Continuing on. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity which goes into unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Why? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. Huh. And that's the end game, man. All you unfaithful are going to die in your unfaithfulness, man. And there's no way around that, man. You see? When Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai visits this planet Earth, man, all you idols are going to be destroyed. And all you believers are those idols as well. Let's go to the book of Psalms. The 96th chapter. In the fourth verse, and it reads For the Lord is great 
and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, man. Let's read that again. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Why? Because Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai kills and he makes alive. He wounds and he heals. And there is none that can escape out of his hand, man. Point blank, period. Verse 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Khan. The only true living power. Is Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> and the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Is about to flare up. On you heathen and two thirty you Jake. You see? The time is drawing near. The day of the heathen is near, man. And that includes you two third Jake. <laughs> the spirit of the Lord is gonna flare up on you, man. You know? <laughs> what scriptures say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. <laughs> it's a fearful thing. Let's go to um let's go to the book of Jeremiah. The fifty first verse. So lucky like the fifty first chapter and the seventeenth verse. And it reads, Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. Right, and a uh, founder pretty much goes into a, um, a goldsmith or a, a refiner, you know, a maker of idols, you know. I'm going to read that again from the top. Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. For his molten image is falsehood. This goes into you. You comedic. You comedics. You see? <laughs> All 2,000 of your gods are false. They're errors, man. Created by the hands of men. No breath in them. Continuing on. I'm going to start from the top. Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. For his molten image is falsehood. And there is no breath in them. See? Verse 18, they are vanity, the work of errors. Why? Because the works of man's hands, man. You know, there ain't no spirit in them, man. <laughs> There's no breath in them. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish, man. <laughs> and that's going to be the time. When the, when the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai flares up on you, inhabitants of the earth, man. You, you and your idols are gonna perish, man. Because there's only one true, only one true living power. And that's Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. But that's the point, Akiyam and Akwaf. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath will edify. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Kal Halaliam La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. 
Shalom Akiyam.